all right guys so the approve function or approve url is not different from the suspend i have modified the suspend schema class that i created so that it can be used for both the approve and then suspend so in order to approve a user i actually need the user id and then um, a parameter of is active true so that's what i did that's why i modified this class so that it can be used so um, you need to pass the user id and then the parameter of true as here so that's what i did and then i make use of the update function so i pass in the user id and then the request data that comes to the update function just to approve a user so now when you come to um, let me save this now when you come to our swagger ui and then you refresh you should see that admin now have one more function called approve um, one more url called approve that he can call to approve a user all right so now let's move on to the rest of the functionalities of the user so we are done with this we are done with this we need to do this this and then this so we have three more for a user or um an employee